Hi guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make delicious Kritzo burgers. You are absolutely going to love them. Let's get into the ingredients. What you're going to need to do first is you're going to need to get this beautiful red onion and what you're going to do is you're going to cut it in half and dice it up really small. Open up. Right, so now what you're going to do, I've got my electric pop here, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to put it on to around, I'm going to put it on about, about medium heat, uh, a bit of olive oil in there to heat up and then we're going to add the onions in and just caramelise them. Caramelise these onions up until they have like a translucent colour but a bit of colour on them as well. The more colour you have, the more packed flavour it's going to have with caramelisation. The natural sugar is burning off. So you can let that fill off a bit. Turn that like down. Right. Right, so. Just leave that bit longer. Put a bit more of oil in. Right, so now what we're going to do, we've got our lovely stale bread here, you want around 50 grams, and we're just going to chop that into chunks and we'll put it in the blender. What we're going to do, you want to get a trusty blender, and we're just going to put these breadcrumbs in. I might have to do it in two batches now, I've got a small blender. Mine might fit. Get it well fit. Put the lid on, and do it into uh, quite a big bread curry. So Pulse it. Right, so, got our breadcrumbs here. Let's take this out. Right, so, what you want to do is you want to get a nice bowl, chuck them in. That's what the breadcrumbs should look like. You want some big chunks, some small. So, we put this over here. Keep an eye on the onion. You don't want them burning up and down. Right, so what you want to do is you want to crack an egg in there. Crack in that mold. Got a bit of shell in there. Right, so once you've done that, you've got your egg in there. You will have a pound of mince, beef mince. This is fresh from the butcher. And then you want to have three pork sausages. Right, so you want to do these sausages is you want to cut them in half. So you're going to be using the mince. And what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze all it out. All that sausage meat out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get this lovely trick so we've got these slices you can get from Tesco's, Morrison's, any supermarket really we get all of them on we'll stick an eye on this ok so we're just going to put them all together we'll just slice it slice it like that now that's all sliced but we'll dice it Basic dice it and it's gonna go the other way. You've got all these shoots over here. Okay. Put that in with the sausage and all that. And then we have a half or quarter of a teaspoon of um, smoked paprika. So put some of that in. And now if you come with me. This is optional. You could get sage if you wanted to, or you could have rosemary. I'm gonna do sage, but this is completely optional again. 
I'm just going to get four leaves. Slice them up. Now, what this is going to do is say it's got extra flavour and it can bind the pork and the beef together. I'm just taking them about two minutes and what you want to do is you now want to put this pepper onto the barbecue because the char off so it's all that's like nice and soft and sweet this pepper you can have a green pepper which is less sweet or yellow or orange just light this up Five minutes. So the onion's almost done, and what you want to do after that is you want to put them on a plate. You can do it the same one as the raw meat because it's going to be on the barbecue, so it's going to heat up again. And then let it cool down, put it in with the um, our mix we've done for the burgers, and we'll give that a mix after. So these are almost done. So now we've got these on. Um, I have put them on a plate just now. Um, they are quite cooled down quite fast actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all that in there. Okay. Now, this is where the messy part is. You want to get your hands, nothing else. You want your hands, not a spatula or something. Hands, you can mix it all together. Just move your hands, squish it all together until all of the um, egg has moved, mixed into all of it all. All the pork mince has got into the, the, the beef. Oh, it smells phenomenal. Okay, so. This is our burger mix. This part has been on for around five minutes. What I've done, I've took the stove off so it doesn't smolder away or set alight, so what's happening. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on directly, you've got the middle one going. If you have a single one, just do it on a single. And put it right above it, yeah. Close that on, and you want to put that on full whack. Just like that. So what's going to happen here now is we're going to be able to char this, and it's going to go all nice and black on the outside. You can put it in the glass container and seal it, and then what will happen is the steam in that will separate the skin from the actual flesh. And then. We're going to put it on the cold water and you can peel it and then we're going to slice it up and put it on the dough. It'll be spectacular. Okay. Right, so now we've got, this, we've got the burger mix, not sausage mix. Right, so we're going to season it up. A bit of salt. And a bit of pepper. Okay, let's give that another mix in. Now, those of you who are wondering why do I have breadcrumbs in here, what the breadcrumbs are going to do is um, they are going to be soaking up all of that moisture, all the um, fat and that, the chicken so and the sausage meat and all that. You're going to soak it all in, keep it there for extra flavour. So, what we've got now, so at home, it's fine, completely fine if you don't have this. I'm just doing it to make a nice shape. Got this, you can get. It. Amazon for five pound, ten pound. That's it. And paper so it doesn't stick to the thing. Right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna separate like this into six burgers. Don't worry about weighing it. You just wanted to have it six equal shapes. Now this paper's been on. Turn it. See, it's got the star going black. That's what you want. Just turn it like that. Put it on another five minutes. 
And then, so on the last one, I've got my handy helper gonna do this for me. So we'll be back when we're done. Okay, so now the pepper is done, and what you want to get yourself done is you want to get a bowl, particularly glass with a lid. So I've got my lid here, and you just want to get, open this pepper. You can see how soft it is. Like that, put it in there, put the lid on. Yeah, you'll leave that until around the end, and that what that's going to do is to steam itself, and it's going to make it really soft, tender, sweet. It's going to add a big flavour to the burgers. So you're going to take the paper off. Because can't eat for that, so, you know. And what you're going to do is you get your spray, and you spray them so they don't stick. Okay, so right, now, best part. Open this up, and turn on the other one as well. There we go. Just turn on medium heat. Oh, hit hot. Okay, so what you're going to do is you want to just go like that. Okay, so while this is on, I'm just going to take off the other plate of the paper. Okay, so now we can close that. I'm going to leave them there for around five minutes. Turn that down. So, that's steaming, so that's done. So in a minute, when we flip them, we are going to be cutting the cheese up. We've got um, the chalk cheddar here. So we're we'll using that. And then, we're going to start up, put it on the burgers, put it underneath that grill, to put it down. Just so it melts down, so it's oozing cheese on the burger. Put a bit of rocket on, cut this pepper. And ketchup, voila. What more could you want? Got burgers on. They're cooking away. What we want to do now is we want to cook the um, cook. No, we're going <laughs> to cut these buns. Okay. Right, and what we're going to do with that is we're going to toast it. I've got brioche here. If you don't like brioche, it's completely fine to use it. I just decided to use brioche because why not? This does serve six, so I have. I get a pack of eight brioche. Okay, there we go. So we've got six brioche there. In a minute, we're going to put them on the barbecue barley, toast them off. So nice crisp in there. Put the ketchup on, put the rocket on here. Lovely fresh rocket. And then, pepper, all set. So now we're going to do what we've got, we've got some chalk cheddar here and we're going to actually put that on the burger just to drip down. So we're going to have around that thick slices. we have two per burger roughly, or three. So some people don't want it on there at the moment, so I've just done it we'll around four burgers. But literally like two bits will be fine. So it melts off. So here we've got our pepper. Be careful because it is hot. Not on here, we cut this in half. So we're just going to take these seeds out. Put them back in the bowl. Okay, so we'll slice this up now. Not that big. Be careful because as you can see it is hot if you can see. 
but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Big ones in the car. There we go, so we've got two bits each. Now, what we will do, if you get them, yeah, completely optional, you can take these off. All we have to do is you put on the cold water, yeah? And look at that, it just comes off. Okay, so, burgers. So you got cheeses melted down. There you go. We've got a bit of fun here. Just gonna clean it off. Look at that. Just gonna get a bit of this. Rock it. And on the top one, just gonna get a knife and ketchup. I have not picked a good knife for this. Okay, look at that. Look at that. There. My Schwitzo burger. Can't wait. Oh, lovely burger. Everyone knows there's only one way to eat a burger. So I'm not Mmm. Pepper. So sweet. The melted cheese on top. Oh. Tasty tricks as well. Really good. Onion. Red pumpkin. That texture. Honestly, you need to try this at home. Here you have it, guys. My delicious tricks of burgers. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great day.